my loves this is mystique and i welcome you to my digital sacred space i hope you are happy healthy and healing wherever you are watching from today we are looking at how do they feel about you and uh, they can be anyone it can be a person on your mind a special person your crush um it can be platonic or romantic and uh, i'm going to give you an option of selecting three piles and uh, these are my channel paintings that uh, you must have seen me paint in previous readings if you are already a member of my soul family but um, yeah i picked these out intuitively and i'm going to be channeling messages from the paintings and then i will pull cards so for the first pile or the first group we have this painting right here very ocean vibe this will be group number 1 then we have group number 2 which is this painting right here this is one of my favorite circular paintings that i've done i also have like mini heart paintings a lot of those because i did a lot of uh, future spouse readings here so but this is what it looks like then we have the third painting right here this is also a very special painting to me you guys must not have seen this one before but this is what it looks like a very special painting to me anyway These are your options, my loves. You can go ahead and make your selection out of these. I'm going to go ahead with my prayer. I feel like a lot of you could be clicking on this reading for the first time, or you're here on my channel for the first time. I want to say hello and welcome. I am an intuitive artist and a tarot reader, and I basically merge art and tarot. and uh, i have a i have my own version of readings called watercolor readings where i channel using the using my connection with one of the sacred elements which is water that's how i created these sacred channel paintings um so yeah today you are selecting these if you want to see me paint on camera like i do have those readings i have a separate playlist So if you're curious you can go and click on that but today I'm not going to be painting on camera I'm going to be channeling messages from these paintings that I've already painted um yeah that's what I wanted you to know Firstly I would like to start off this prayer by welcoming all of the new souls and sending them my love my light and my positivity on their journey as they navigate through their inner sojourn I invite and call upon all of the positive energy I invite and call upon the vibration of joy the frequency of tranquility calmness and peace to surround my dear souls who are watching this reading who are watching this prayer I call upon you dear spirit I call upon you dear universe call upon my dear by number 1 2 and 3 spirit guides to help me channel to help me with this reading today to guide me and my dear viewer so that we can look at the honest truth about whatever person they are inquiring about I ask for your protection dear universe 
I ask for your protection. I ask for this sacred space to be protected from any malicious energies, any malicious entities, any negative intentions, vibrations, thoughts, feelings that has come my way or my pile number one, two, and three's way. I demand for all of these negative energies, negative influences to be returned back to their senders. I ask for the aura of pile number one, two, and three to be cleansed, to be cleansed gently and lovingly. for this space to be protected. I ask for pile number one, two and three to be protected from any anyone who's giving them evil eye, anyone who's trying to negatively influence them, anyone who's trying to have bad intentions for them and doesn't have their best interests in mind. I ask for pile number one, two and three to be protected. For all of those beings that have my dear pile number one, two and three's best interests at heart to stay as I move through the readings. I demand all energies, all non-physical beings, all energies to leave that doesn't have my best interests or my pile number one, two and three's best interests at heart. I ask for all of those energies to leave this space with love I offer my gratitude and I offer this prayer to dear spirit guides dear angels, ancestors higher selves of the spiritual realm that are watching over all of us right now I offer this prayer as a token of my gratitude as a token of my love my intention for this reading is to give pile number one, two, and three some clarity if they are confused about the person on their mind or whatever person they have on their mind when they watch this reading. My intention for this reading is to give them the truth about how this person feels about them. I ask for spirit to give me the truth and the truth only so that I can communicate and channel it effectively. I end this prayer by sending my love and my light to pile number one, two, and three. May their energies experience calmness and they be able to make their pile selection. They be able to choose their painting. I have intuitively picked all of these channeled paintings as they fit my dear group number one, two, and three. I will now begin with the readings and I end this prayer by sending you my love, dear spirit guides, angels, higher selves, ancestors. All of the non-physical beings that are present and watching over us and protecting us. I end this prayer by sending my love and my gratitude to you. Thank you for giving me the honor to read 
for pile number one, two, and three. Thank you for inspiring me to create this channel, to create this sacred space for my dear soul family, for human beings of this earth. I have a lot of respect for the viewer and love. And now I end this prayer. Thank you. My dear pile number one, two, and three, you can go click on the reading and watch the reading. We will be looking at how the person on your mind feels about you. If you have not made your selection yet, think about the person that you want to know about. You know, the person whose feelings you want to know about. Think of that person. Open your eyes and allow yourself to be drawn to certain colors, certain visual imagery on these paintings. And I'm sure you'll be able to make your selection. And uh, with that said, I'm going to see you in your reading. You can also pause the video here if you need some more time. Um, I'm going to go ahead with the reading now. See you soon. Hello my loves, welcome if you chose group number one. This is going to be your reading and you chose this beautiful channel painting that I painted and picked intuitively. Now I didn't know what paintings I was going to pick. I was actually going to pick oracle cards for the pile selection but spirit called me to pick up my channel painting. So I have a box in which I store all of the paintings which is right here and um, I opened it and I was called to pick these three and I was called to pick this one for you. So I'm going to start channeling from this painting first and then I will pull tarot and oracle cards for you. So the very first thing that I received as a message for you immediately is the fact that this person could have a lot of water energy or uh, a lot of... Um, this person is very emotional about you. This person definitely cares a lot about you. For some of you, this person could be a family member, although this is a very small portion of you guys. So, and for some of you, if this is a romantic person or you're interested in this person romantically, I'm feeling that this person has a lot of feelings for you. Like, every time they think about you, they, they're very fond of you. They're extremely... I feel like they adore you a lot. They're very fond of you. They... You know how sometimes you have something that is very precious to you, like a thing, and you really love it, like an album, it could be like a special book or a diary that you received as a gift and you cherish it with your whole heart, right? And I feel like this person is like that towards you, like they cherish you with their whole heart. I'm not picking up on romantic feelings right now but I will be looking at cards, you know, what comes out in the cards, but I am feeling that first of all this person has is very emotional is you know they're very emotionally intelligent as well this person could be very mature or this person could be younger than you or this person could be older than you but has a young energy um there's something about this person being pure and innocent i'm picking up on a lot of pisces energy cancer energy um i'm not picking up on a lot of scorpio energy although that could be the case once again don't take these zodiac signs as a confirmation. These are just energies that I'm picking up on. So, yeah. But let's pick out your oracle card. Uh, let's pick out your tarot cards. Why did I say oracle cards? Okay, maybe I should pick out your oracle cards first since that's what I said. Okay, so I'm using the Monology Manifestation oracle deck which is this one right here so let's get into it how does the person on pile number one's mind feel about them please reveal their real feelings please wow okay you have a lot of cards hold on and you know what it is interesting that for you, your person is calling me to pick out oracle cards first. Usually, it's tarot cards. And the way I see tarot and oracle cards is that tarot is more structured, right? Tarot, each tarot card tells a certain story. 
right and um, for example if you have like a card that is three of swords this one talks about heartbreak and you literally have swords going through a heart uh, to in order to depict that right it's talking about a specific story it's talking about a specific event so the tarot is more of the physical world and what's happening in the physical world it gives you information about that whereas oracle decks and oracle cards are more spiritual in nature and sometimes or the messages that come out in oracle cards can feel like they're vague because they don't have a certain physical structure because they oracle cards function like a bridge between the physical and the spiritual and oracle cards are more spiritual in that sense but i feel like this person is also spiritual in some way or they are very connected to spirit in some way definitely this is a very strong message this this person on your mind the person that you're thinking about while you're watching this reading is very connected to spirit in some way because i it is very rare that you know um, I do a reading and then the person on your mind, your future spouse or whoever you're thinking about, they will call me to pick oracle cards first. It's very rare. If you have been on my channel, then you know that I almost always pick out tarot cards here. So for you, I'm getting that I needed to pick oracle cards first. So I want to see why they called me to pick oracle cards first. So First, we have last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen. Oh my god, look how similar. I didn't plan this. You guys know I shuffled in front of you. We have color your emotions. Wow. And we have take a reality check with full moon in Capricorn. We have new moon in Cancer with relax. And we have last quarter moon in Leo with lighten up now i feel like these three cards are talking about their emotions and their feelings and these two cards are talking about the messages they want to give to you so let me start with these three cards first right i feel like if this the person that you're asking about is roman is uh, interested in you in a romantic way or wants to pursue a romantic relationship then this person wants to reveal their heart to you they want to give you their heart it's like i'm almost getting this feeling that this person is tired of bottling up their emotions all right and they have a lot of feelings right and uh, it's almost like they've uh, they've gotten to like a certain frustration level and i feel like this person is like has a cute energy to them okay um like this person is um they, they're, they're tired of bottling up their feelings and uh, they're thinking, oh my god, I need to reveal my feelings, I need to reveal my heart to pile number one. I feel like this is not a person that wears their heart on their sleeve. They are a little bit on the mysterious side or they protect their heart. They are not vulnerable or they, they are not uh, showing that side of them that is vulnerable to the world. But I feel like they want to show you that because... You are very special to the person on your mind who you're thinking about. You're very, very special to them. I wish I could emphasize on how special you are with the full moon, two full moons coming out. It's like you take up all of their head space. You take up all of their heart space. You know what I mean? Like you invade this person. You, the thought of you invades this person to the point that they catch themselves thinking about you and daydreaming about you and um, they want to reveal their feelings but I feel like if they have not revealed their feelings to you then this person um, has gotten their emotions played with has gotten their emotions hurt like being very emotional in the beginning of the relationship or before a relationship begins a romantic relationship they were very involved emotionally i feel like this person who gets a uh, very forms an emotional bond to the person that they love very quickly so and the obviously the disadvantage of that is that you are putting yourself in a position where somebody else can hurt you because you are the person that cares more, right? And I just feel like they're trying to be careful because I feel like the feelings that they have for you have taken this person by surprise 
and the fact that you invade their mind so much like the thought of you invades their mind so much is something that has taken them by surprise they see you as somebody who's very colorful and cool at the same time they see you as someone someone who's expressive who's strong who's independent who's dominant i just heard dominant so for some of you that could be the case like they see you as somebody who is minding their own business who is interested in their own life interested in their own dreams and they like how committed you are to yourself and to what you want to achieve and um, i feel like they the way they talk to themselves after all they felt all of this is that you know um, just come down to earth you know pile number 1 might not like you you know like they're thinking like this okay um pile number 1 might not like me they're so cool they're so colorful like why would they even be interested in me you know i'm just like a normal person and i'm not getting that this person has self esteem issue okay let me make that clear but it's just that you are so cool like they put you on a pedestal so you're so cool to them and they feel like you know why would like you're the cool you're like you're the cool guy the cool girl of the school right right and then they could be like the ordinary backbencher who nobody is paying attention to like that's what i'm feeling that's the kind of energy i'm picking up not to say that they are not important i feel like this person has a heart of gold for sure and for you for sure um i'm also hearing the halsey lyric um my heart is gold but my hands are cold and i feel like they put the world at a distance but they don't want any distance between you and them like they want to and they know that to narrow the gap like to close the gap to close the distance between the two of you someone needs to make a move and they don't know if you have any romantic feelings for them so they think that they need to come towards you you know what i mean like they they want to come towards you so that's what these three cards mean and these two i feel like are messages from them i feel like they're they're telling you to lighten up their higher self is telling you to lighten up this is a message from their higher self um they're asking you to have fun to bring back fun like to bring back color you know like uh, bring the coolness back you don't need to be so serious you don't you don't need to care so much if something is going wrong or you're anxious about something or you're worried about something you don't need to be so uptight about it like you don't like the more you don't care about it is how that situation is going to be resolved so this is a message that came out from their higher self and also just relax within your being relax into yourself i feel like this person really enjoys you being relaxed and being light you know almost like a bird that flies you know that doesn't care about what's going on on the ground uh, like a bird is literally in the sky right like why would a bird care if if um there's there are cars on the road right like it's not going to come down and and sit on the road you know what i mean like the bird belongs to the sky and it's like you belong to the sky too and um they're saying that you're meant for freedom so do what makes you feel free and don't get entangled in worries and don't get entangled in anxiety because if you do then it's a downward spiral from there so take a moment and relax take a moment and lighten up my dear love this is what they're saying now let's get your tarot cards more information about how this person feels please This person is very easy to talk to, very comforting energy, because the cards are they're leading me to cards so easily and quickly. Like I barely feel any resistance. Sometimes I will shuffle the deck and the cards still won't come out. So we have ten of swords reversed. We have high priestess. Oh my gosh, I'm so not surprised that this comes out. We have eight of cups. we have six of cups beautiful beautiful and we have nine of pentacles wow okay this is a beautiful combination of cards this person could be very intuitive or spiritual or they see you as somebody who is intuitive and spiritual for sure Now the 10 of swords reversed just makes me feel like both of you are healing in some way. Both of you have been hurt by people, maybe both of you might have had different experiences that caused you the pain, right? Like 
hypothetically speaking hypothetically okay just as an example one of you could have had a parent that was toxic or and the other person could have had friends that were toxic right but both of you understand how that feels to have a person who's supposed to love you or who's supposed to be close to you who you trust and then have that trust betrayed uh, or have somebody use you or have somebody take advantage of you um, have somebody only care about themselves at your expense so there's there's the wound is similar but the cause could be different and both of you guys are in a healing healing energy both of you are focused on healing right now both of you are focused on taking care of yourself really i feel like you guys care about your heart is what i'm feeling that's what i'm picking up from this card with the high priestess here i feel like right now as you're watching this reading this is a timeless reading so whenever you're watching this reading right now you are tapping into your more spiritual powers both of you uh, but the powers could be different like for you it could be clairvoyance but for them it could be clairaudience right like spirit speaks to them and for you it's more like spirit will show you some visual imagery or colors or speaks through you through visual visuals of the physical world so you're able to see visions you're able to see things before they happen you know um that's what i'm feeling but you guys are uh, this is a spiritual connection between both of you whether it's platonic or romantic this is a spiritual connection between both of you if you guys are coming into each other's life whether it's a romantic bond or a platonic bond that you guys are forming you guys will be able to give each other a lot of wisdom with this high priestess card here because i'm being taken to this book that she is holding in her hand right i'm being taken to this book that she's holding in her hand so i feel like you guys will be um giving each other a lot of wisdom giving each other a lot of uh, lessons but not in a karmic way this is not karmic at all by the way i'm not sensing like i sense a very cool and calm peaceful energy so but i am sensing that you guys will be able to learn a lot from each other and that's why these lessons are kind of coming through and definitely i feel like lunar energy has something to do here like the moon energy has something to do here the moon energy is watching over you or you guys could feel a lot very connected to moon or very connected to lunar thinking that because the funny thing is i was trying to pick one tarot deck and one oracle deck before i do a reading and then i asked spirit you know what tarot deck should i use today and what oracle deck and immediately the answer was so clear it was this one which is moonology literally called the moon so and the other one was this one which is called the ethereal vision tarot the luna edition so moon just seems to be like an important theme for you guys or um the groups today and also we have like the half crescent moon here we have the crescent moon here and we have the 8 of cups i feel like you guys could be in the process of walking away from something that doesn't serve you right now maybe you guys are just coming out of an ego death or maybe you guys are coming out of a transformation period you guys are leaving something toxic behind and you're in a you're in a healing energy you might not be looking for a romantic relationship but you're definitely your path is leading towards this destined fated connection because i'm seeing the path here and again the moon here right so you're being led toward the moon you're being led toward the light you're being led and i feel like this person is sitting here right there he's not being shown as walking whereas the 8 of cups in the other deck in the rider way deck he's walking towards that so here he's sitting down so i feel like you're just taking it step by step you're not trying to rush towards this person you know you want to take it slow you want to no you don't want to um put your whole heart on the line or reveal all of your feelings and scare the other person or get hurt yourself like you're just being cautious you're just being careful um i don't feel like you have any intentions of hurting the other person and they don't have any intentions of hurting you either and both of you are just taking step by step towards each other like i don't feel like you guys are rushing into this connection and uh, both of you are trusting divine timing and both of you know that if it's meant to happen it will 
and uh, you guys are okay with this connection taking time which is a beautiful energy honestly for you to be in spirit is wants to kind of commend you on that because usually people are in such a rush to be in a romantic relationship and to experience romantic love that they forget that you're supposed to just enjoy the process of falling in love as well you know because that is fun as well and we have the six of cups so i this person wants to be your friend if this person is family or if this person has is platonically interested in you or romantically interested in you this person definitely wants to be friends first like they want to develop a deep friendship with you they don't want to just uh, get into a romantic relationship and develop like a bond where there's a high sexual chemistry or you know um like a bond where it's more focused on the s stuff you know you know what i'm talking about uh, they want to focus more on the spiritual aspect they want to focus more on connecting with your heart developing a friendship with your heart first because this person understands and knows that chemistry fades connection doesn't and so they're more focused on connecting with you rather than building a false sense of connection based on chemistry right like they don't want this relationship to be body based they want this relationship to be relationship to be heart based and you see how these two children children always represent purity they represent light they represent innocence so i feel like this person has innocent intentions clean intentions towards you this person definitely doesn't want to hurt you there are no cards that are toxic as you can see in front of you so uh, this person is very 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 attuned to you at least they want to be attuned to you and i feel like this person you are their happiness and what makes them very happy is the fact like when they see you loving yourself i feel like you've gone through a lot and if you have not spoken to this person about the experiences that you've had in your life then this person is definitely um when you tell them your story like you know this is what happened and like this these toxic people and i had to leave them and this is what i did for my mental health and this is what i did like this is what i did to choose myself this is how i got myself out of toxicity they are going to develop immense respect for you they already respect you pal number 1 but they are definitely developing an immense respect and admiration towards you they almost look up to you and they see you as a person who they can learn a lot from if you are a woman this person feels like you are very much in your divine feminine energy and like there is no woman who's more beautiful than you like you are the most beautiful person in this person's eyes and uh, they definitely want to emulate you in some way or be like you in some way or learn from you and um, they feel like you're so abundant but this is not to talk about your finances okay abundant in the sense that you're abundant with love like you're full of love you're full of gratitude you're full of um care you're full of kindness you're full of um um consideration compassion like almost like a goddess and uh, they they see you as like someone who is worthy of respect someone who's worthy of being worshiped you know and um, there's something about your aura and your energy that is making this person kind of fall to their knees for you and uh, is making them weak in their knees for you um that's the kind of energy i'm sensing so far pile number 1 such beautiful cards came out for you and such a beautiful reading i hope you enjoyed this reading i definitely enjoyed being in your energy and channeling for you um i'm wishing you all of the very best pile number 1 if you want to book a personal reading with me you can do so by emailing me on mystique tarot 28 at the rate of gmail.com the email address will be in the description and um that email id is the only way i take personal readings and appointments for personal readings i do not comment you i will not reach out to you personally i will not give you any whatsapp number or anything like that so please please be careful of scammers um and uh, i love you so much i'm sending you my love i thank all of the cards i thank the dear painting i thank all of the images thank you for helping me channel for dear pile number 1 thank you spirit guides hi yourself thank you to the person on the mine who was talking to me thank you for allowing me in your energy thank you for allowing me to read for you and being so transparent and honest um pile number 1 i will see you in my next reading hopefully if not i thank you so so much for watching this one and thank you so much for giving me the honor to read for you 
Bye. Hello and welcome my loves. If you chose this beautiful painting, if you chose group number two, this is going to be your reading. Now this is a painting that I painted in one of my readings that I did on this channel here. So I'm going to first channel messages from the painting and then we will look into tarot and oracle cards. The very first thing that I just heard is that this person is an ocean for you. This person is an ocean of love for you. This person is a reservoir, a container of compassion and kindness for you. This person is very influenced by the moon. You could be drawn to pile number one as well because this was a theme in pile number one. But if you were not drawn to that pile, that's completely okay. This is your reading then in that case. But you see how there is like this blue and this dark blue and light blue kind of mixed in together and almost like this is reminding me of the way the river ends into the ocean how all rivers end into the ocean and i feel like this person if if this is if this is like a romantic co connection that you're invi inquiring about why am i stuttering so much i apologize um if this is a person who you want to pursue a romantic relationship or you or who you think has a crush on you or who you're crushing on then this person definitely has a crush on you as well but this is a very quiet crush like you might not even know before they have revealed their feelings that they have a crush on you because before i started this reading i was not able to see anything i was not able to tap into anything but now that i've started the reading i'm slowly being shown like what is under the surface right what is under the surface of the ocean the currents kind of moving over the surface and um, i'm seeing that this person is very deep very profound very wise this person is very emotionally intelligent as well and uh, they're very in tune with the moon cycle the feelings are very much in tune with the moon cycles they get very affected by all of the lunar energy so they might have been very affected by the eclipse that recently happened the, lun the lunar eclipse if you're watching this in october of course if you're not then uh, this person is definitely influenced by the moon and lunar energy. Um, I just heard the moon is our mother, which is which is a bit true in, in a way because in astrology, the sun represents the father and the moon represents the mother. The sun represents your ego or your identity, yourself, and the moon represents your more hidden emotions, your hidden needs, so to speak, your emotional needs that need to be met in order for you to feel good. And... Um, I feel this person is very like giving me almost I'm reading this energy as a Piscean energy that's how it feels to me because it's almost like this person ha knows about the thin veil that separates the physical and the spiritual and they know that there there isn't any separation between the physical and the spiritual that's an illusion the veil is an illusion however it's also real at the same time so they know that contradictory truths can coexist right both both of the things are true at the same time i'm also feeling that this person could have aries energy along with being very spiritual this person could be somebody who follows their own compass this person could be someone who has gone through a lot in their life has gone through a lot of trauma maybe but this person definitely came out of it more colorful, more more beautiful, stronger, more compassionate, more empathetic, and more understanding than ever. I feel like they allowed their pain to make them deep instead of making them hurt. Like they chose not to be hurt. They chose to be more compassionate. They asked themselves when they went through a difficult experience, how can I be of help to the universe how can i be of help to people through this experience and uh, they almost i'm almost feeling like the way they deal with their pain is by zooming out almost a little bit and then learning that experience and learning about all of that experience so 
an example i can give you is that let's say that this person was in a car crash okay hypothetically speaking god forbid i don't know i do not wish this but let's say this person was in a massive car crash right now they have developed empathy for everyone who is also experienced like a car crash or has lost a limb or lost a person who was very close to their heart and this person develops a lot of empathy for people that have been in a car in a car crash of course so it's almost like every human experience that they have they use it to make themselves deeper to understand human beings on a very deep and spiritual level because they are the kind of person whose priority is to love people like they think that that is their purpose in in a way uh they want to love people they want to uh, they like that is what they think gives life meaning life's meaning is love love gives life meaning that's what this person thinks and without love there is no point to this existence because this this existence would be empty and hollow without love it would be incomplete without love so this person is very focused on giving love this person stands in love this person stands for love is what i'm feeling Wow, I don't know who this person is, but this person's energy is so beautiful. Pile number two, you're really lucky. Okay, this card is jumping out, so let me just take it. How does this person feel about pile number two? How does this person feel about pile number two? Okay, lot of cards. Let's see. Oh my God, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the very first card that you get. Wow, this person is in love with you. I don't know if they've revealed their feelings to you, but. that is the vibe especially if you are a person who is on the journey to self love this person loves you this person is part of that journey this person is going to teach you how to love yourself in some way now i don't know if this is in a literal sense where they are giving you a certain uh trip uh, tips and tricks uh, you know certain tools to love yourself certain techniques but this person will definitely make you love yourself make you fall in love with yourself deeper that's how this connection is feeling to me this is a fated connection very abundant as well this connection is rich with love you have the 7 of cups there's someone who's jealous there's someone who doesn't like how spiritual your connection is they are wearing a mask they are presenting themselves as like they this is that friend in a friend group where nobody suspects that this person does not have good intentions but this person does not have good intentions that's what i'm feeling this person is two faced wow okay you have the high priestess you guys both of these came out for pile number 1 i feel like this is another confirmation if you were drawn to pile number 1 you feel free to watch that if you are not this is your reading wow you have the queen beside the high priestess if you are a woman watching this oh my god this person this person sees you as a goddess this person sees you as someone who's very wise someone who's very spiritual someone who's committed to their spiritual journey Now the reason why I'm saying that is there are some people who are highly focused on the physical pursuit and nothing wrong with that right like people that are in pursuit of success people that are in pursuit of fame and all that um nothing wrong with that but I feel like you guys both of you are deep in the sense that let's say you were to chase after success right chase after fame right and you realize that okay I am pursuing fame because I want to be seen I want to be heard and why do I want to be seen so desperately why is that so important to me oh it's because I wasn't seen for who I am I wasn't loved for who I am in my childhood and I'm trying to get that need met by wanting to become famous and I subconsciously think that when I become famous 
I will be happy because I'm finally being seen. And then you realize, okay, so the fame is not the problem here. And maybe the fame is not a real desire. What I need is to be seen. What I need is to be loved for who I am. And it's like you're directly addressing the wound. You're directly trying to meet your need, your core need that you have as a human being. And you're taking care of yourself directly so you don't have to go through the indirect pursuit, right? And that is why I feel like both of you are very spiritual, like both of you are very connected to spirit. Or spirit is definitely very connected to you, whether you feel connected to spirit or not. Spirit is definitely very connected to you. This person also thinks that you have a very beautiful body. But the way they're saying it, they're saying it that you have a beautiful vessel, like your soul has a very beautiful vessel and they respect of course vessel they're talking about your body when i say vessel um they think that you contain the secrets of the night n-i-g-h-t they think that you contain the mysteries of the universe and even if you don't see yourself this way you might say some things that are so profoundly wise and so beyond your years that they get surprised when they hear you speak I feel like for some of you, you guys have not spoken before. In that case, I encourage you to speak to this person. I, I, I don't, I'm not saying that you should make the first move. But um, if, if you guys are in a situation where you guys are, you know, are talking, talk to this person. That's how you'll get to know their mind. That's how they'll get to know your mind and how beautiful you are. Like talking, something about talking is important to this person. Something about... your words something about your voice something about your neck is is attracted to them like your words have a huge impact on this person so let's say you were to send your energy of love through your words or you say something like it's going to be okay like this person really feels it to like in their core maybe you have a very high highly active throat chakra because i'm seeing that whatever you speak out loud into the into the physical reality into the universe might come true like that might be a way that you manifest now i don't know there are no now i know there are no swords card here but i'm just i'm just being taken to your mouth to your words your style of communication because you're very connected to your heart and your heart and throat chakra are in alignment so you manifest very quickly because you wish good for people and that is why you're able to like when you say something like it's going to be okay it really turns that situation really turns out to be okay that's what i'm getting and this person has oh my gosh whoa we have the king of cups wow you guys are meant to be together you guys are supposed to form a spiritual connection whether you guys this is whether this is a romantic bond or a platonic bond i don't know but you guys, this is a fated connection. And also you have the king of cups and the queen of cups. So not just any king and queen, right? Like you have literally the king of cups and the queen of cups, which is emotional energy, which is water energy, beautiful energy. So I'm feeling that this person definitely wants to give you their cup. We also have the well in reverse. Something is stopping them. Something is stopping them from because we have this in reverse if this was upright i would have said okay they have a well of feelings for you they're going to come towards you something is stopping them we have the moon reverse they're keeping their feelings hidden from you why but they're keeping their feelings hidden from you i maybe they don't think that you're as spiritual as them i don't know they don't know that you are on their wavelength or you are similar to them and that is why they're kind of holding back the moon always reminds me like something is hidden like the dark side of the moon right which is hidden from us it exists but oh my god oh my god you have the empress under the high priestess if you are a woman oh my gosh you are so lucky this person I mean, the cards speak for themselves. You're literally getting the Empress. Okay, if this person wants to worship you, this person has gratitude for your wisdom. This person has a lot of respect for your wisdom, for your... This 
this person has a lot of love for you you see how there are flowers on her in her hair and this is like the kind of a curly hair beautiful curly hair and i always see curly hair as more unique you know because there are certain like genetic um changes that need to, need to take place for someone to be born with such beautiful such like unique curly hair and i feel like they see you this way they see you as somebody who's very unique and very uniquely beautiful like you catch their attention in a way that nobody has caught their attention in a while and um, they love that they love that I'm hearing that song by Jose Take me to church I'll worship at the shrine of your lies What is that something about an altar something about worshiping at an altar like they want to worship you We have the page of swords Yeah they definitely <laughs> not going to reveal their feelings anytime soon is what i'm getting from this card they're very content with how things are at the moment like they just want to get to know you as a person once again this was a theme that was similar in pile 1 is that they don't want to form a connection with you that is body based they want to form a connection to your soul they want to understand your soul deeply they want to understand who you are as a as a human as a soul on this planet deeply they un- want to understand your purpose they want to understand your um i don't want to say fate but it's like they want to understand why you're here on the planet like the the higher purpose like your higher um like your divine reality why you're here and they want to learn more about it's like this person if this person could be inside of you they would be you know not not i'm not saying this in an 18 plus way but it's like if this person could live inside you this person would just so they want they, they that's how much this person wants to know you this person wants to know you deeply i'm getting a little bit of scorpio energy just speaking up on a little bit of scorpio energy not too much though with the seven of cups right here i feel like there is another person who doesn't have good intentions for you the third person who is literally showing that they are cheering you on or they want to you know they are encouraging this connection but this person is fake this person is lying this person does not encourage this connection okay and uh, be careful of this person don't give up on your love like once you guys i'm being shown this scene from a k drama called heartbeat i don't know if you guys have heard of it but um um the male character the main character is in love with the girl and the girl is also in love with him the our hero and heroine let's call them that and there's another girl who loves the guy loves the boy okay and uh, she is rich so she tries to control the main hero in by kind of emotionally blackmailing her you know because she is rich so she's trying to be like i'll give you money just stay away from him you know and this girl this girl who is poor she says i might not have that amount of money to you know do the do the things that you're doing but even if i did i would not do what you did because i love him and if he was happy with you i would have let him be you know i wouldn't have been i wouldn't have tried to control him i would not have tried to control his feelings and uh, she says that she will not give up on the connection that's what she tells her which obviously makes that third girl extremely mad and angry so you can see like i feel like this is a theme that spirit wants to tell you is that not to give up on this connection not to not to let this connection go you know um be very respectful and mindful of this connection because this connection is one of the most sacred things in your life um when you look back in hindsight you're going to look back at this connection and know that this was one of the pivotal life connections that changed your whole life for the better and that is why you shouldn't give up on this connection this is, so this was a very strong message from spirit and from your higher self saying that we understand that you're giving we understand that you're selfless but 
this is not the time you don't have to be selfless with this connection you need to be selfish and if you love the king of cups or you love the queen of cups you love your queen you love your king go for him go for her you know um or let them come to you whatever you see fit be be in your empress energy you don't need to deal with this crocodile energy but resist manipulation don't fall for it um and don't manipulate don't get sucked into it okay so that's a message that is coming through pile number 2 um if you want any more information or if you want um to book a personal reading on any other topic you can email me on mystique tarot at 28 at the rate of gmail.com um the email address will be in my description so you guys can go access it from there and i'm going to take the time to thank all of the cards the dear painting thank you so much file number 2 for being here thank you so much to this person on your mind i am sending my love and my gratitude to this person for being who they are and for loving you so much and it was such an honor for me to read for you pile number 2 if you are new here i hope you subscribe and become like a permanent part of my soul family i would love that of course this is only if you liked the reading if you didn't that's completely fine um i'm sending you so much love and so much light and hopefully i'll see you in my next reading if not i thank you so so much for watching this one and with that said i will be saying goodbye Hello my loves if you chose pile number 3 or painting number 3 group 3 this is going to be your reading now getting straight into the reading the very first thing that i was drawn to is this part right here in the painting and i just feel like um, the person on your mind i feel like for most of you you guys are asking for a romantic connection or you're interested in a romantic connection with the person that you're thinking about while watching this reading and uh, i feel like this person that you're thinking about things that it's a long and arduous journey to you i feel like you're the kind of person who has very strong boundaries who has um gone through a lot i i i, I was almost seeing the wizard liz if you guys know of her of course i think most of you might already know um i'm getting that your personality comes off that way to this person and uh, they see you as a, a a woman or a a man or a person who is very strong independent very strong with their boundaries very um clear about your nose you know like n o right you're very clear about your nose now what what i mean to say by this is that you want people that will add value to your life you want people that are there in your life for a reason you want people that you can grow with you want people that are pouring love into you or pouring or just by being there you know the person's presence in your life makes your life or enriches your life in some way like you want that the people in your life add value to your life like i feel like you don't believe in meaningless shallow situationships or relationships you know i feel like you go for deep connections you go because you are a person that brings a lot of value to other people's life and you are a person that brings a lot to the table so you also want to be you also want to have that be returned right not in not in a way that is transactional but i just feel like you know your worth uh or you're confident enough to know who, like uh, what you want in life and this person doesn't want to disrespect or overstep a boundary that you have by mistake and then because you will just be away from them you know like you will just leave this person behind i feel like this person is really scared that you will just like they'll make a mistake they'll they'll mess up and you will just leave forever you know like you will be out of this person's life and this person will never see you again and i feel like this person is really scared of that because they don't want to lose you this person doesn't want to lose you that's why they're really scared of that i was also like i'm being drawn to this circular portion right here in the painting so i just feel like i i was reminded of donuts actually of like circular sweets 
I feel like you could have like a cute personality or this person has a cute personality but you guys don't show it. Now the wizard list if you guys know she's someone who cares a lot of about people. She's someone who's highly empathetic and compassionate, right? And um she's also very strong and independent at the same time. People might think that she's a mean girl. She's not. She wishes the best for people, okay? And uh, I just feel like here you're you're like you have a very hard shell like you're a tough nut to crack but then inside you're like liquid chocolate you know like i'm reminded of that chocolate chocolate cake which is like solid on the outside you know brownie on the outside and then when you cut it there's like liquid chocolate that comes out right so that's what i'm feeling for you i really <laughs> i really love your energy your energy is very delicious to this person I that's what I heard okay that's your energy is delicious to this person like they like they like who you are they love who you are they have a lot of respect and admiration for who you are this person has romantic feelings and also s feelings towards you but um once again it's like they almost scared to reveal their s feelings the more sensual side of them and what they want to do to you in a sensual way because they think in their minds like pile number 3 would never give me the time of day pile number 3 would never look my way so there's no point in thinking or fantasizing about pile number 3 cuz pile number 3 wouldn't go for someone like me like that's that's kind of vibe I'm picking up and you might be listening to this and thinking like like if you have such a low self esteem then i don't want to be with you you know like i want to be with somebody self assured someone who's confident somebody who will who knows their place in my life who who knows what they're offering in my life you know like i feel like from you that's the kind of vibe i'm picking up that's the kind of energy i'm picking up like you're a strong soul by number 3 you're a strong soul and you definitely come off that way but let's get into it what is the person on your mind feeling about you Okay. Let's see. <laughs> It's like the cards don't want to reveal themselves. <laughs> We have the emperor reversed. Yeah. This person is scared of like if you are asking about a man the this man is is scared or is they are this man is doubting himself a lot this man thinks that he might not be good enough for you this is just self doubt okay i am getting that this person is equal to you in every way this person is just as powerful just as handsome just as beautiful um just as amazing and confident as you are but when it comes to you because your energy is so intimidating and your energy is so crystal clear and loud and confident that this person almost feels like am i would i be enough for pile number 3 like would pile number 3 be happy with someone like me you know like would pile number 3 because i feel like because you're so strong they think that you value strength they think that you don't value vulnerability or you don't value gentleness but i think you do because i feel like at the core you're such a sweet soul by number 3 and you have so much love as well inside of you it's just that you don't put that aspect of yourself forward in life like you put your strength forward in life and so that is why people might might not see this about you and i feel like this person is also kind of feeling like would pile number 3 I'm sorry my love the camera cut off and I didn't realize I just went on speaking and speaking but I turned over all of the cards and you have the emperor reverse you have the hermit reverse you have the justice upright you have the tower reversed you have the moon reversed you have the eight of swords the five of cups and the page of wands reversed now i feel like this person thinks that they might not be mature enough in the sense that they feel like they feel like they feel younger to you in some way now i don't know if this is literally with your age but i feel like this person feels that they might not be mature enough to handle the kind of relationship that you are seeking like the kind of depth that you seek in a relationship 
although i feel like this person is capable of that for sure this person is equal to you and on your level in every way but i feel like there's certain emotional wounds that they need to work on this person had authority figures this like a, this could have been a parent this could have been doctors this could have been teachers in school that made them feel insignificant that made the, uh, that belittled this person that didn't value this person for who they were and it's like they they are financially and on a physical level they have everything they are abundant you know they're successful but emotionally they still have some core wounds that they need to work on because these things will not just disappear out of the blue right and um, i'm just getting that this person because here you see the five of cups and this person is alone here crying so i feel like this person has a lot to offer you because there are two cups hiding behind so it's like this person has a lot of feelings for you that they can give you they are capable of deep compassionate love but it's almost like this person doesn't see that within themselves this person doesn't they look at themselves and they think that they doubt themselves they think that pile number 3 will never look my way pile number 3 will never give me the time of day and um, spirit is like this person is perfect for you in a way but it's going to take a while for them to heal all of these wounds and to just be like okay i'm going to go towards pile number 3 i'm going to tell them what they want and really i feel like with the eight of swords coming out this is not like um i'm not getting that this is an external problem like there's somebody who's trying to get in the way or something like i'm not picking up any kind of energies like that uh but i'm feeling that with the eight of swords coming out i feel like this is this is just their own self limiting beliefs that they have because of the things that they have gone through in life and uh, i'm picking up on the fact that this person definitely wants to come towards you now i also picked up on a lot of 18 plus messages if you will a lot of s energy from their side towards you this person desires you a lot this person wants you a lot like they they're deep deep in their passion like they're deeply passionate about you pile number 3 i don't know what you've done to them but you haunt their nights n i g h t s you haunt their dreams it's like they're trying to get rid of thinking of you but you they can't stop thinking about you they can't stop thinking about how beautiful you are they can't stop thinking about how it would feel to actually be with you how it would feel to touch you this person like if you ever say yes to this person they are going to be like the happiest person and that day they are going to remember that day forever and they are going to celebrate celebrate that day for life they will be like pile number 1 uh, pile number 3 chose me pile number 3 chose me as their person and they think that that's an honor and they honor you back like they 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 want to give you that love back for choosing them you know um with the justice card and the tower reverse card i picked up on a lot of um 18 plus uh messages which i uh, unfortunately can't can't go into into details here because youtube is very strict um but this person has a lot of deep sensual feelings for you they are all up in their feelings for you I'm also getting that um the way this person is sitting with a sword in a hand and with the balance scale in one hand this is reminding me of libra energy I feel like this person knows that you appreciate and want someone who respects people okay you could be a libra or you could like libra energy and uh, i'm getting that you they know this about you and they they just want to be perfect for you they want to be good enough for you they want to be perfect enough for you because i'm being taken to the eyes here the very beautiful eyes which are almost hollow if you if you can see in this card right here they have no pupils so i'm feeling that they like their eyes belong to you and and meaning that they 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 only want to look at you and no one else they they 
are only interested in you and no one else and even if a third person try to get their interest try to um make them look at them this person would only have eyes for you so it's like they're very loyal to you by them they also put you on a pedestal and think of you in high in a very high way they they have a lot of uh, admiration for you and they definitely put you on a pedestal and think that you're great in every way in every way like you're perfect in this person's eyes and to the point that they feel like they are not perfect enough for you they feel immature they feel like almost like a little boy <laughs> like if this is a man they feel like they're a little boy compared to you now i'm also feeling with this tower card coming out that you see how there is a mask on top of this person who's falling on their face right so i feel like uh, they know that they need to take off all masks if they want to come towards you they want to they, they have to come towards you correctly right like they cannot just come to you without thinking and just you know say what they want to say they 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 know that you are the kind of person who admires and wants to be respected wants to be loved and they want to come at you correctly and they know that if they come at you in the wrong way or if they say something wrong or if they you know if they have bad intentions or the wrong intentions for you they know that you'll catch that you'll catch that very quickly and you'll just like push them out of your life and you see how this person is falling and that is they are like nightmare like they you know you'll just push them off the building and then you'll be like i don't want you in my life by of course like i'm not saying that you're a murderer or something pile number 3 like i'm speaking metaphorically like and th this is a nightmare that um, they don't want to face this kind of energy where they come at you with a mask on their face and they don't show you who they are and you're like you respect authenticity first and foremost so you're like you are not you are not real you are being fake and you're showing me what you think i like and that is why i don't want you and that is like a tower moment for them so they don't want to go through this tower moment um and then you're like pushing them off and this person while they they are falling right out of your life they they think to themselves well this is what you get for for messing with pile number 3 for being fake with pile number 3 like then you know that pile number 3 only has um respect for authenticity and they do not value fakeness that's a vibe i'm picking up from this card also there are a lot of windows here so i feel like you're very vigilant they might think like how do you know what you know but they don't know that you're spiritual you know and you're highly empathetic so that's how you know what you know and this person is kind of looking at you and trying to figure out like how does pile number 3 know what they know like how did pile number 3 figure out that person's intentions and how like they know that there's something magical about you and they know that you can read energy in some way maybe you're highly intuitive maybe you're very connected to spirit and they know that um you that is why they are being careful because they know that you will know if they come at you with the wrong intentions right so they're almost like being very careful they're being very careful and i feel like they might not even reveal any of their s thoughts and s feelings for you because they don't want you to think that they only like you for your physical body even though that is the case a little bit a little bit but that doesn't mean that they they don't respect you they respect you but they don't want to they don't want you to think that all they love about you is your beautiful body that's that's important to them they want to make you feel like they love you for you because that is the truth and they're trying to figure out how can i do that now with the page of wands reverse with the hermit reverse i feel like this person is going to take their own sweet time to come towards you if they do and uh, i don't feel like you are looking for a relationship like you're very happy 
you are very happy being alone 444 as i say that i just saw 444 so i feel like you're content you're happy with your life you finally found the self confidence that you were always looking for and um you're working on yourself by number 3 so i feel like you're not looking for a romantic relationship at this time although you might want it but you definitely don't need it and i feel like you're really just committed to your own journey towards self love and this person really admires watches that and respects that let me see what we have at the back oh my god we have the chariot okay this person definitely is going to come towards you eventually i don't know the time i don't know the time I don't know the time pile number 3 but this person will definitely come towards you definitely I'm just picking up on that energy that they will come towards you This is a this is a connection that is written in the stars okay this is a connection that has that is predestined something about this feels fated because i'm being taken to the stars behind this person and it's almost reminding me of the card star i don't know that i i know that this is not the star card this is the chariot card but the stars are on his crown are reminding me that this is a very fated connection like this connection is written in the stars and behind the deck we have the four of cups right here so i feel like you guys are each others you guys are like a gift in each other's life you guys are a gift in each other's life i want to see i feel like somehow you're going to end up with this person even if you don't wait for this person you don't have to but somehow you're going to end up with this person because this person is never going to give up on you pile number 3 like they only have eyes for you so this is the kind of connection that i'm feeling like this person had hypothetically speaking once again this might resonate or it might not but this person let's say was in love with you throughout high school okay and they never told you okay and then when you guys grow up you become this very successful beautiful person handsome person and and they are they still they still come to realize that they still have feelings for you when you only and they never dated anybody like they never liked anybody because they only had eyes for you and they were irrevocably in love with you and uh, when they grow up and you come back to the town and they're like okay this is my chance you know i'm going to i'm going to propose to pile number 3 i'm going to tell them how i feel like what is the worst that could happen they they they'll reject me right so they are they will eventually reveal their feelings to you i i want to pick more tarot cards for you pile number oh we have the eight of pentacles that wanted to fall out okay with the eight of pentacles here i'm getting that they are working hard on themselves they are working hard on building like a strong foundation if you are asking for a man and and a man is on your mind This person is working hard on providing like a safe container, providing safety, providing protection, providing a house. Like they're working hard on their financial stability. They're working hard on themselves so that they can be a best. I'm sorry, pile number three. Your video keep keeps getting cut off. But I was saying that they are working hard on themselves to be the best. husband they can be the best boyfriend they can be the best father they can be they ba they basically want to be the best person in your life like 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 they want to be your favorite person and they know that they need to earn that place and they're very happy to do that so i don't know if the like the footage of me pulling out these tarot cards got cut out but i basically uh, pulled four more cards for you from the same deck and you got the high priestess the high priestess came out for all of the three piles so i feel like you guys are all connected in some way or you might have been drawn to two piles or all three piles i'm not really sure wow we have the devil just after the high priestess the ace of pentacles reversed and finally we have 
the king of wands ooh yeah this person you have no idea about how much passion this person actually has for you with the devil coming out like i am i am not at all surprised by this card coming out for you, for you in this reading especially because um this person is crazy about you this person really really wants you more than you can imagine and there is a lot of 18 plus energy like i already said i was i was picking it up from the tower card i'm picking it up again from this devil card it's like out of the bedroom they have very good intentions for you like they want to take care of you love you pour into you but in the bedroom they might be they might be very dominant they might they might be like the person who likes to be in charge of you um they might um like there's something about being the opposite in the bedroom and being um different in 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 out of the bedroom in real life um like they, they you might they might come off as very sweet and gentle somebody who's confident somebody who's achieved a lot in their life somebody who's very successful but then in bed it they are they are strict you know dominant controlling but in the best way possible only if you like it then please take this if you don't then just let it be Th this might not be for you um they they want to they want to blow your mind i'll i'll put it that way they want to be your best in every way and this this obviously means that um in bed as well like they want to be the best partner they they want to be the best s that you have experienced if this makes you uncomfortable please leave this message don't take it just leave it but once again with the ace of pentacles i'm being told that this is all because they feel like they might not be enough for you so they're they're, they're like they're trying to make up for it by blowing your mind like by by being very how do i put it by constantly putting in effort by constantly pouring into you that's what i'm feeling from this card they might also feel like they're not financially well off or financially on your level maybe you make more money than this person so it's i'm not getting that they are, they they don't like that you're making more money than them but they just want to be your equal right like they want to they want to show you that they are an emperor even though they don't feel like one so it's like they're working really hard they know that they have a lot of work to do on themselves before they even come towards you but finally i'm getting the king of wands and i'm be i was just taken to this card right here the chariot so i feel like eventually they will become a king because we had the page here so it's like they are on their journey to become a king most but most of all i'm getting that this person wants to be your king your king so they 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 want you to see them as someone who's capable of loving you and um, they are willing to put in the effort they are willing to put in the work on themselves they are willing to rise up and to meet you at your level and they don't want to put you down they don't want to because they have so much admiration and love for you and um, they want you to be happy with them like they want you they i feel like mostly i just like i'm feeling that this person wants to see you smile a lot they love your smile they love the sound of your laughter so this person wants to like everything they do is a little bit motivated by the fact that they want to see you happy because your happiness is their happiness in a way so they know that uh, a lot of this is motivated by wanting to just be enough for you and wanting to see you happy wanting to see you smile i feel like they might be very sweet to you and have a lot of romantic gestures you guys might have like secret jokes secret dirty jokes um and uh, they'll make you smile they'll they'll make you laugh in situations that you shouldn't be smiling in situations that you shouldn't be laughing but they don't care they they're in love with you they're in love with how 
radiant you are when you smile so they don't really care and and they want to be your king they want to they don't just want to be a knight you know they don't want to be a knight that's coming to save you they want to be on your level they want to be your king because you are a queen like you are coming out as a high priestess the star um you're a star in their eyes you shine so bright and they don't they want to add to that they don't want to dim you they want to add to your wisdom they want to add to your life they want to be they want to make a significant contribution like they want to earn their place in your life that's what i'm picking up this is a very beautiful masculine energy it's one of the most beautiful masculine energies that i have read in a while so thank you so much for coming through whoever you know you're thinking about this person is really great thank you so much for coming through and thank you so much for clicking on this reading because if you hadn't then i wouldn't be able to channel any messages from this person or get to know either of you but i love you both of you so much i'm sending you my gratitude i'm sending you my love if you want to book a personal reading with me just in case if you want to know the more 18 plus details i have a lot of limited edition readings you can also book a personal reading by emailing me on mystique taro28 at the rate of gmail.com this is going to be in the description and uh, i'm going to say thank you to all of the cards that i used today the sacred painting thank you so much to the images the visuals thank you so much for allowing me to channel i would also like to give my gratitude to your spirit guides your higher self the person on your mind the person that you were thinking about throughout this reading their higher self and their spirit guides angels and sisters for coming through and helping me channel for you and uh, i thank you so much my dear pile number 3 for watching this reading for clicking on this reading i cherish you and value you and love you and uh, hopefully i'll see you in my next reading as well if not i'm sending you my love and uh, yeah i'm going to say bye now